Hello, MacWarriors! How's it going? And welcome to another episode of Rogue Tag, the turn-based strategy game built around the Battletech universe. We are continuing our wild ride today. We want to make our lamb ready, and uh, we're gonna try to take it to the battlefield today. That's my plan. But we have an injury. We have a bit of a repair time on our Uziel, since in the last duel it was alone against two enemies. However, um, I need to put my money somewhere else. I want to go to engineering and I want to definitely get my training module tier 2 up because we get more experience each day and especially in the early game, you really want to have that so that your pilots learn quicker. That's what we're going to invest into today and um, next thing is the Phoenix Hawk. Let's go, guys. Maybe I should change my color pattern or my color scheme in general. I, I really like the purple thing because I also have an emblem that's purple. Uh, I don't know about that. Oh, let's go with this. Yeah, I'm gonna change that at some point. Good. So, what are we doing here? We need, uh, we need items, we need weapons, and then we are good already. Ha! Huh. Also, what I just realized is that most of our weapons are torso mounted, which means that we can totally make a punch build happen and still attack with our torso mounted weapon. This is one here which is a bit awkward. Uh, also, we can think about handhelds, but let's see where we are going with this. First things first. We have a defensive double plus gyro, that's already pretty good. We have the lamb turbines now that we'll totally put in here. They should upgrade our mobility significantly. Maybe they are calculated in later. Provides one hex jump at two heat. Also 25 units walk speed and generate two heat per turn. Um, we'll check it out. Then there is something like a, a lamb booster that we got. A lamb booster pack, 40%. Grants us a 0.6 hex jump distance at two heat. A lamb mode, 16 units walk speed. So we're gonna boost that thing even further. We wanna go fast with it. Then I wanna armor up. Like, maximum, please? No? Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. There we go. Everything else is maxed out. That's what we want. I'm not really sold on the Talons. They give us a bit more damage. But this is more about death from above. And they weigh quite a ton. Or two. Alright, I'll put this over here. We are slightly under tonnage now. We're gonna see if we can fix that with our half-ton item later. Great. So, now we have five out of six jump thingies. We have um, one weapon so far and some bombs. But there's more, guys. There's definitely more. Where would I find my wing-mounted stuff? Is it not here? Is it special equipment? Huh? Where, where's my, where's my wing-mount stuff? Pretty sure we bought something. Oh, it's uh, it's ammo. It's a single-use item, therefore ammo. So we have interesting. They don't seem to take up the bomb base slot. That's a bug. Oh, I can put I can put a million of these things into the mech right now, huh? Okay, we gotta make it reasonable. Yeah, the wing mount is uh, it's working. The bay mount is. Bugged. They should take it up here. But anyway, I don't want to put all my taunts into, into this. We have now four Inferno Bombs and one High Explosive Bomb. It's gonna be awesome. Cannot wait for it. But I think I want more, I want more like, real damage and not the Infernos necessarily. It's just something that I want to play around with right now. Good. The other weapons are gonna be energy weapons. And I think we're gonna take the best lasers that we got right now. Which are not that many. Oh boy. Got some mediums. And mediums alone. But that's still a good chunk of laser beams that we are throwing out there. We need more cooling than it's indicated here because if we want to jump around a lot, we will generate so much heat. So we gotta overcool, like hilariously. Let's put some heat management into this. Double heat sinks, obviously. Baina, put them on the arms. This might be good. Ooh, super interesting. We have a lot of tonnage left over. That means we can upgrade our engine quite a big time. We got six medium lasers, one of them medium X-Pulse. Good for us. Um, again, I don't believe in the talons here. Do we have any handhelds? No. We have a support thing. Laser cutter is sadly not possible. It's battle armor. I can take the tagger. 
Ah, it's two slots. Cannot take the tagger here. We also have a wing mount here. Oh, interesting. Not that we have more wing mounts, but um, anyway. Anyway, anyway, I want to go for a bigger engine. Let's go with that. Like 300. I think 300 is the way. I'll drop this. Now we have a crazy amount of movement. Looking good, everybody. Looking good. I do like it. What do we get out of the land air mag? Is there anything... Provides 3 max evasion, 20% increased stability damage taken, and 10% reduced stability threshold. Lamb afterburner, 70% jump distance in lamb mode. Bam, baby! Alright. I guess 14 days and we have a build. I want to start this right away. Great. So, in the meantime, we obviously want to play some more missions. And I totally need that Uziel back online. I cannot play with three mechs alone, right? I don't see it, no. We actually have to wait for the Uziel to be ready once more. And we need a pilot for it. So, who's it gonna be? Let's check out the barracks. We need a pilot that we haven't played with yet. One of the rookies. Like ex-military, I really do like that. And Mech Warrior is giving us one initiative. Ex-military for the negative recoil and OP accuracy. It is worth training, Popo. Maybe we have somebody better, though. Ex-military, Mech Warrior, Spacer, this doesn't matter. I think Finnan was good, right? Ex-military, Mech Warrior, also Commander. And Dependable. Negative 5% stability damage taken. And Panic Resistance. He's the guy. Yeah, it's gonna be Finnan, so we're gonna go with Gunnery and Tactics. And we're gonna take him on the Uziel. Great. So, mission that we play is Battle in Urban, or... I don't wanna play Training Day, that's too specific. Let's play Battle in Urban Environment. We still need to get better, better guns, better weapon systems. That's the thing that we are lacking right now. So, Waka, Rifleman, Uziel, Phoenix Arc. We're also still looking for tanks, by the way. Okay, ready to go. You were on the Wushwalker. We have Finnan, who's gonna be on the Uziel. Jamie was the Phoenix Hawk. We got Wizard on the Rifleman. And we are ready to go. Boom. Let's do it. We are on par with the difficulty, and I think this is quite fine. We are in a very, very comfortable conflict zone right now. I don't wanna stretch it out too much because I'm currently not pushing towards the mid game so hard. I still want to play the Solaris stuff, guys. I want to get some more light max or lower tier medium max in order to get into the Solaris stuff. Um, and um, yeah, we, we're gonna start in the lowest bracket, which is the light max bracket. Therefore, we need light max. I don't want to push too heavy. It's different from what we usually do. But I said it, that we would do it, so we're gonna do it. Okay. Can also not wait to fly around with my lamb. I really think that optimizing that guy goes a long way, even into the mid or the late game. If you have watched the last uh, the last season, basically, you could see that I was still running a 55-ton lamb, although we were running all assault max at this point. It was just and even even super heavies. That 55-toner was still such such a great guy because he was generating so much evasion, could backstep so easily. That was a one-shot kill. It was highly volatile. If it got hit once, we had a big problem. Especially in the late game when there's so much damage flying around. But they're good. They're really good. And I always wanted to get my hands on the Timberwolf Lamb, which we never gotten... Uh, yeah, we never got to, to get parts. I think only once we got a part of it. And then we saw them on the battlefield, but we couldn't salvage them because they were part of a support lance. Super unfortunate. Here we go. Let's do this. Got some friends. Okay. Enemy units right here in front of us. Yeah, let's have a brawl. I am not afraid. But damn. So, where are our friends? There they are. Great. We're gonna uh, quickly get a lay of the land and see what's going on on our side and on the enemy side. That's a Clint. It's not the Eastward, so we don't have to be afraid of a Rack 20. A Whitworth. It's a mech we could technically take. Chameleon, Chameleon mm, is fine. The Wyvern. 
We've got a Savannah Master, a Scorpion, a Ripper, a VTOL, and a Vedette. All of these are garbage. The Vedette is the best of the tanks here. Yeah. We're gonna go for the Clint first. Alright. Oh, Whitworth. Use my DNI. Get more initiative out of that. We're gonna probably push between the two buildings to the right. It takes a bit of time until we can move because the game calculates my movement again after using DNI. We gotta move and brace. I like my 20% damage reduction here. This guy is uh, a bit dangerous with the large laser and the SRM and one LRM10 and some small lasers. This guy has a lot of weapons. Crazy. And then there's the Whitworth. All of these are exactly the mechs that I want to get my um, to get my light mechs, my lower tier medium mechs ready. Okay, the Hawk on the front. I'm gonna challenge that or the Clint. Ah, they have some reinforcements as well. Alrighty, guys, bring it on. It's gonna be an interesting fight. The Ripper. I really hope that the Ripper is attracting a lot of fire and is living a long time. Scorpion coming in. Here's the Savannah Master, a very fast little tank. Only has one medium laser though. There we go. Now the fight begins. Uh, let's go. Wyvern. Nothing from the Wyvern. That's interesting. Yo, you know what? Maybe we want to use our Bushwhacker to hit the Whitworth first and then follow up with everybody else. Whitworths are not the most dangerous targets, but it's an easy target to take. They have a C3 network. Interesting. Lint coming around. LB10 double medium or AC10 double medium. Something along those lines. Which um, is interesting because I would totally take that LB10 autocannon and put it on my Waka. Random splash missiles. Good. Hmm. I wonder if our angle should be attacking the Clint from behind with our Uziel. That would open our back against the Wyvern on the left side. Good word. LRM10s. I believe they also run Artemis ammo. Yeah, I'll take them down first. I feel that makes the most sense right now. That's good. Here's Chameleon. Nothing from that end. I just realized I could totally take my Phoenix Hawk. Take the medium X pulse lasers out, put them into my lamb instead. Mm. And put something else on the Phoenix. Okay, we go here. We're gonna take the Whitworth first. That's gonna be our main target right now. Why is my hit chance so bad? No sensors. Okay, Finnan, come on. You can do better. It was a very, very, very low damage output. Okay. Jamie, totally going for active ECM in this position. We wanna scramble our enemies, especially the Clint and the Whitworth. Then I also want to be able to move, thank you. I cannot do that. I'm stuck. I don't know why. We have just moved here. We should be able to move again. Ah, there we go. Good. I mean, if we get 9 evasion, we totally should. Right. Not a kill? Oh boy. He's a sturdy one. <laughs> Holy hell! The Badat is angry. Oh my god. He's almost dead. I mean, something broke here. You can hear it. Holy crap. That Badat is on a... On a rampage here. Actually, going melee makes no sense. I'll move back and shoot him again. Yeah, down he goes. XT 
Extended range LRM. Interesting. Not hard to miss then. But anyway, he's down to two medium lasers and on the ground. He's not going to do that much. Pack rat. SRM6 medium lasers. AMS from our guys. I'm baffled. I'm actually baffled. Our friends are really helpful. It's pretty clear what we're doing here. Go for the Clint before it can shoot again. Boom. Um, wait. That was, that was my friend. That was my Savannah Master. Oops. <laughs> we got a stray shot out. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, well, it's not going as planned here. I let the Whitworth stand up. I don't care about him, really. I want to take this guy here. On the Clint. Bleeding out. Engine destroyed. Means the gun is still here, I guess. Right? A mobile HQ. Nice. And we got a scorpion with medium lasers as well as a command van. Interesting. I think the Wyvern is next. Gonna probably give us a bit of trouble if you don't care about him. That AMS! It's very helpful. Wait, was it the Scorpion with anti-missile SRMs? Could have been. Gotta push here. Man, I really want to get the second leg. Don't want to destroy the whole mech. But that's what's happening. Oh, no. Not quite. Not quite, actually. If I went for Santa Torso, we would have probably killed. Still have a Ripper, which is not doing anything. And the Whitworth failed his piloting check. He couldn't stand up. Okay. Panicked. Also, we didn't get hit by a stray shot. Whew. Fine. Command van. Yeah, I'd I think the AMS comes from our Scorpion friend. Scorpion, right? The dead. No, Scorpion. And I think they are protecting us with their short-range missiles, which have anti-missile missiles loaded. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I'll take care of the mechs next. Get my ECM over here. Scramble their sensors. Sorry for the lags, but that's just what it is when you are in an urban environment. <laughs> oh, man. I have a pretty beefy PC, but sometimes, sometimes it's not enough. I want to get four evasion. What can we hit here? Anything? I feel like the mobile HQ is getting some ECM that's scrambling us. Rat. I'll try to get the HQ out. Oh, and we scramble everybody. Of course, we have the Donald the PPC. I should think about that. I should really play around that. Okay, pack rat now. No sensors here or what? No, it's just a target move penalty. Anyway, that's good. So I'm gonna split up a little bit, which is usually not advised, but I think I'm feeling confident right now. So Uziel and Phoenix Hawk are trying to take care of the mechs, everybody else takes the tanks. Go melee, but only with the charge, which is not advised right now. Ah, it's fine. So here we are. We have a pretty good hit chance against that guy. I could also finish the Whitworth. Could I? No? Fine. Uh, damage! Let's go! Yes! Oh, we got melee. And we got hit again! And... Ooh, nice array of damage that you are throwing at me. Gotta give him that. It was a good attack. But we are on our feet, and that's important. Lost our evasion completely. But anyway. 
Okay, something from the uh, right side is coming in now. We got the mobile HQ. He's going for a sidestep. All right. And then the pack rat trying to flank us completely. Yeah. Building collapsing. Okay. Seems like we're getting into a brawl up here with like fisticuffs and everything. Good. Whitworth down. Let's keep going. Come on. Give me initiative. Hells yeah. Okay, we get seven evasion by jumping over here. Do I do that from above? Nah, 17%. That's not good enough. Okay. Um, let's do it like this. Hello. Wanna try to take his arm off? I think we did. No, not quite. Damn it. Wyvern is jumping as well. Ooh, what a duel. Two versus two on the left side in the park. Probably a lot of building getting collapsed here. I'm not really helping there. Let's focus on what we have on the right flank. Lots of damage to the front. Love to see it. Come on, Ripper. Do a thing. You got medium lasers. Yeah, finally. Kill steal. Man, my experience. I'm so sorry for the legs. It's just the game right now. Okay, 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 okay. We can just kick him from here where we are standing. Is that the right call? We wouldn't get any invasion or anything. They would totally counter attack, right? Oh, that's such a difficult choice. Do I stand and kick him? Yeah. Let's go. Hit him hard and hit him good. That's a lot of heat, actually. Maybe I should have gone with Inferno missiles as well. Okay. He also lost his stability. That means we have a low-hanging fruit to follow up with the damage. And honestly, I'll take my PPC, Donald, into consideration here. Yes, I will scramble my own guy, but I don't care. I want him dead now. Not dead. But sensors impaired. A crit on the core. Damn it. Only I had to bushwhacker now to follow up again. But that's the end of my turn, basically. Maybe the chameleon is doing a weird thing here. I mean, he is unsteady. He's very hot. He might pull back. But that? Nothing. He is pulling back, doing nothing. Perfect. Great. Okay. Yeah, let's keep going, Finnan. To the front. Let's go and give a melee hell. I'll attack from the front. Boom. Mm-hmm. That should be the end of it. Is it though? It totally is. We got a stack pole. Everything's overheating. Oh no. The Wyvern also got hit by it, luckily. <laughs> Holy macaroni! What's going on here? Yeah, this flank is safe, I think. For the moment. Okay, we take the pack rat. That's the next target. <laughs> oh, I love when that happens. And I hate it at the same time. Let's get out of here, guys. Let's finish this. What a mission, man. What a mission. Let's go melee once more. I'll definitely not shoot any of these mediums. Actually, I can do one. Sure. I'll take it. Here come. And shoot him. 
Oh, wait, we are still overheating? Okay, 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 okay. No PPC Donald this time. We go for leg. 25 damage to the friend. Doesn't matter too much, though. It was an acceptable hit. Totally. So, we got the mobile HQ, which is already damaged, if I remember correctly. He's taking down my Ripper. No. Ripper is running away. And then there's a Scorpion in the back with medium lasers. Kind of hoping he's coming closer instead of running away further. Ah, so close, man. So, next round, my turn. Okay, wizard. Um, He's still hot, so he's not going to do anything. Means our Phoenix Hawk has all the means to take the guy down. That's a good spot for me. Great. Battle mech power up yeah. detected. That's a good spot for me again. Mm, actually, let's go vigilant just in case. I'll not shoot the medium laser to stay heat neutral. Tank is down. Two enemies alive. One tank, one mech. Like, like that. Good. Let's try to get out of the fire somehow. Yeah. Whatever. Oop. We evenly deal damage to them. Keep in mind, our Uziel is currently also out of order. He has to restart. He cannot follow up on anything. So I thought we would kill here, but we are not. Restart. Good. A thing that I'm really, really happy about is that we got the Radical Heat Sink Kit in our lamb. That thing is gonna be really valuable. When we're jumping around a lot and, you know, trying to not overheat. Uh, can uh, we take that guy down now? We cannot. They should be stressed, though. Unsettled. Okay, so it's his turn. He's gonna do a thing. Jumping. No damage. Uh, I'm gonna take Jamie first to take him. Kick, shoot, kill. Come on, buddy. It's another hit. He's down to 5 HP on that side. Lost evasion. Lost the leg. That's good, actually. That's very good, actually. Perfect. So that means we can hunt down the mobile HQ. And I will actually go as far as destroying this building to get line of sight. Yeah. This is gonna be helpful in the next few rounds when we are trying to get where we want to be. I mean, ordering... Could have done it with the Uziel. And then shoot with the Rifleman instead. Nose is itching. That was a weird movement on the river side here. Yeah. Oh, and he's daring. Right, here's the vedette. No hit. So what I'm hoping for is that we get initiative next round. And we can kill him before he can kill anything else. Uh, yeah, not with Jamie. Let's wait. Ah, but with... Wizard? There it is. One step further. Uh, Vigilance, just in case. And here we go. Got him! So, totally worked out destroying the building. Very nice. Mission successful. What a mission! Was a bit of a longer one this time. Alrighty. Yeah, it was a double lance on each side. It's just the amount of enemies and, and friendlies, actually, that take a lot of time. You know, plotting the moves and uh, the actions and the animations and everything makes the game a little longer. But hey, here we are. Let's get some loot. We also have to repair an Uziel. <laughs> oh my god. 
All right, 330,000 sea bills. We also get lots of experience. I love to see that. And we have to make a decision. Oh, actually, we can build the Vulcan. Totally forgot about it. We got one part of the Eastwood. We have no Chameleon yet. Hmm. The Whitworth. I don't know about the Whitworth. It's an okay mech. It has three energy and three missile hard points. It's rugged. It has a bit of accuracy affinity. And a hardened plate damage reduction affinity later. I think the Wyvern is more interesting, right? Also rugged. Gets ballistic and missile damage taken reduction of 10% and later on 3% raw damage taken. One ballistic, three energy, two missile. I don't know why, but I feel like the Wyvern is the better choice. Maybe because it's a bit heavier. Got two large lasers, bunch of LRMs, bunch of medium lasers. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. I can totally see myself running more SRM6s. Drop the pirate one and streamline it around three SRM6s. My, my Uziel, by the way. I like that. Engines, lots of them. Standard fire control system, single heat sinks, basic sensors. There's nothing to be excited about. A UAV, not really. It's another Wyvern part down here. Sneaky. So how do we? How how many do we have here? Four. God, do I take four Wyverns? I said I wanted forty-five tonners. Now I'm not too sure about it anymore. <laughs> Uh, these SRM6s are too tasty. They would help me so much on my UZL build. You know what? I'll do it like this. I'll take two Wyvern parts, I'll take two SRMs. Yeah, this will help out tremendously. Okay, maybe we get some more Wyverns. Let's see. We get Chameleon, Mobile HQ, Whitworth, only two Wyvern parts, but an auto cannon 5, a large laser, two mediums, an uh, engine core 100. IC engine, lots of jump jets that we don't need anymore, right? Ah, we got 16, basic sensor, basic structure. Ooh, we lost the random salvage game. We lost it. But it's okay. I picked what I wanted, and that's what matters here. Okay. So, we totally will rebuild our Uziel a bit. It needs a bit of repairs, definitely. Uh, and we need... Man, we need to streamline it. I really want to shoot more missiles. And honestly... I feel we should drop the flamers. I don't think that the heat angle is the right one here. I feel like in the early game, enemies are getting destroyed so easily that you can just kill them. I think what you need to get under control is heavy mechs. Before you can kill them, because they will probably survive a round or two with the setup that we have right now. Like, even more than that. So I think right now, damage is the angle more than anything else. As soon as we get into like a full medium, like upper tier medium lands and we're going for heavy mech hunting, then heat makes a more more sense and a bigger sense. Okay, so Uziel to the front, then you, and everybody else falls in line. Quick check. Huh? We got enough for the month? I actually want to play another mission beforehand, so we're gonna do it just like that. So, technically we are ready to fight again, but I want to see if I can squeeze my SRM6s into my Uziel within two days. Actually, one day, basically. Let's see. I don't think I can, by the way. So we drop the cooling pod, we drop an SRM. This is gonna go. This is gonna come. It's perfect. It just fits. We still have negative 14 heat. Our jump heat is 18, so I think this is fine. Um, what are we losing here? 11 damage times 7 instead of 10 damage times 6. We also gain a ton. And with that we gain another SRM6. 14 heat compared to 90. Yeah, it's just better. And the jam chance is also not good. And the recoil is also not good. Oh, this is so good now. This is way better. That's also a three-day refit. This alone. And I also want to take the flamers out. These flamers should be probably small lasers. Actually, this is 9 heat. We can take a medium laser. Also 9 heat, you know. For 25 damage. 
and better range. So that's a totally viable build at this point. Interesting! Interesting. I can see myself taking an ER small here. But what are we doing with the last half ton? Got three slots open. I can put another single, a uh, double heat sink in there. If I take another ER small, if I find one. Or we go and take a small pulse, but I don't think that's good here. No. So yeah, this is the thing I want to do, and I'm totally going to, if my UZL survives the next mission. But before the next month hit, I want to take another mission. So let's go. Any duels here? Nah. One and a half. I really don't want to play one and a half. <laughs> Ambush convoy? Should we destroy a base? In the Badlands? It's a lot of salvage. A lot of opportunity. I'll play another one skull. Against the Starlick Defense Force. That's good. They have good equipment. Uh, Hero is still a little bit out of order, but it's okay. I feel like we have almost gotten a good set of mechs. I'm still not too happy with the Phoenix Hawk. I feel like it's lacking a bit of damage. I feel like I need to go more melee oriented against that guy or with this guy to actually get some damage on the table. The three medium X poles are nice. But it's only three medium X poles. Let's be real. That's not a lot of damage. So how can we upgrade it? I don't know, bring back the machine guns, drop the medium x pulse down to medium lasers, or... I don't know, honestly. This make is so awkward. I could go and make it like a mid-ranger, dropping the engine rating a bit, getting more weight to work with, put a large laser in one arm and two medium lasers in the other. But I think it's it's a nice skirmisher. It really wants to be on the front line, especially since it's the guy who has the ECM currently. Um, so there's that. I need that on the front line. It's important to me. So I honestly don't know. It's missing the hard points to make it good. But maybe maybe machine guns are the way to go with this. We have I think three ballistics. I don't I cannot I don't see that this guy is running a big ballistic. Um, we can also think about handheld items, if we find some, but you cannot shoot handheld items and arm-mounted weapons at the same time, and our lasers are all arm-mounted, so there's also that weird tension field that we don't want to tread into. Let's go. Destroy base! Command interface initiated. So, we have a base and we have a garrison, and we have a pretty good high ground position that we're gonna start on. I do wonder if they have some kind of turrets and if they have some kind of generators that we can destroy so that the turrets are down easily. Um, but I don't see a generator. Nope. I see a Cloudbuster. Let's go. They have a fast moving vehicle, they have a flyer, Cloudbuster, and a heavy hover APC. Oh boy. I'm kind of hoping for reinforcements, honestly. Because that's nothing. Uh, we're gonna stay out of this, out of the forest this time, because I don't respect the firepower of my enemies. This might be a problem, but I also want to go in as fast as possible. Guarding ECM in active mode, please. Thank you. Helping the friends with a bit of shielding. It's only one, but it's better than nothing. It's overall more value. Okay. Ready to roll. Ah, they have a hornet. And then there's turrets. Much laser, LRM turret. No generator. Okay. CX is going. Another tank somewhere. Yeah, they have a support lance. Which is kind of funny. Right. Spawn protection removed, here we go. Guys, let's go. What I'm really hoping for is, I think, weapon systems at this point. There's a sling, slinging some LRMs at us. Okay, they actually hit. Wow. It's a good amount of stability damage. Okay, we're going in. Totally. Uh, and we're gonna shoot into the sky. Right. Jamie. Same thing here. Shoot into the sky. It's the only thing we can do right now. 
What's the Ripper's evasion like? It's, I think, 11, right? 9. Okay. Large laser turret, light sniper turret, it's autocannon 2, not too crazy. Light LRM turret is one LRM 10, I believe, and it's another large laser turret. I think we are somewhat safe here. Sure, we will take some sla splash damage and some chip damage, um, but I don't really care too much. Should be able to kill this. Yeah, down they go. First guy off the battlefield. It's a lot of resolve that we get. I love that. Okay. Um, sure. We kind of take the buildings already. We have nothing else to do. <laughs> we actually miss, right? Feels like it. So I'm gonna use my highly mobile mech to actually skirmish with the guys down below. And I think I'm gonna stay on the high ground with the bushwhacker and the rifleman. To deliver support fire against the turrets and everything else. And I wonder how fast I should push... Because technically we can just stay where we are and just destroy the turrets at long range without even taking any point of return fire. But that would be very boring to watch, I believe. Um, and it would drag out the video for like two hours. <laughs> so therefore I'm not doing it. I'm not saying that I'm putting myself at risk to just make the video more interesting. I just don't want to play it like that. Very boring for me as well. Now yeah, let's sprint. Get a nice overview here. And this guy has literally no armor. He might be able to kill. Oh, these turrets are broken. Good for us. Sling is, I think, the nastiest one right now. But this is the easiest kill. We didn't. Alright. Gotta work on your aim, Jamie. Let's see what the Hornet is doing. Yeah. They have nothing, really. Not a lot, but they are a lot of units. But there is still stuff that they could do to us. Um, I don't really want to get into rough terrain right now. This still might be bad for us. The buildings on the sniper turret with the autocannon too. Let's take the little one out. Ooh, he survived that. Crazy. Okay. But we definitely have more where that came from. Still not. Oh, no. All right, we try again. This time with the Waka. No medium. That's a kill. Number two down. Two out of eight. And then the turrets as well. So two out of 12, technically. I really feel like I need to get the sling and the indirect firing guys out of here. The missile launchers. These are nasty. They'll just deal damage over time. That is the thing that I don't want. So keeping the repair cost low is, I think, good. What's going on here? Did I hear a helicopter? Hmm. Okay. Going four is all the turrets. They actually hit me. That auto cannon too, man. Anyway. I think it's fine if we run over rough terrain. We want to get into a nice angle to take some enemies down now. Wait, this LRM turret is not active. It's only 25 damage. Hmm. Okay, I'm going for the Hornet. For the sole reason that is a, is an enemy that I can hit now, that is usually mobile, and I might not get a good chance later. Ah, same here. Ooh, no sensors. What's going on, Finnan? Man, you gotta really work on your sensor work. Okay, Jamie is going to jump now. This is where we are going in. A little bit hot. Hornet is taking it like a boss. Oh no. Why would you always hit? Ah, oh, we're unsteady. Right? Ah, yeah, totally are. Holy hell. That little sling. 
All right. It's getting more tense than it should be. We got a misfire though. Interesting. Okay. So Hornet needs to go now. Because it can contest my Phoenix Arc big time. And I don't want him to. <laughs> Another ping. Ping from an auto cannon too. Yes, the APC. Makes sense. But we're fine still. I'm a bit afraid of the Cloudbuster. Those two large lasers. But hey, maybe we can act before him next round. Large laser will probably hit. Never mind, it doesn't. Good. Good, good, good. Machine gun. Okay, we have a, we're fine. We're totally fine. So, my friend, that was nasty. I cannot allow that to happen again. Get wrecked. We're gonna take the mobile units out first before we deal with the turrets. Pinnan. I wanna probably contest the Cloudbuster. I think it didn't move that far last round, so we might get a nice shot out here. Oh yes, we do. All the Infernos. Sturdy. Um, then we're gonna move. Panic level critical, you say? That's good. So we're gonna stabilize again and we're gonna try to hit once more in order to make him even more panicked. Okay, he's open. That might be good enough. Where did you come from? Ah! <laughs> the little guy in our bag. Look at him. What is going on? I mean, it's very convenient because we are hot anyway. We don't want to shoot our PPCs this round. So it's gonna be a kick. Yeah, take that, man. What were you thinking? Trying to backstab us like that. What a nasty ankle biter. All right. So, turn 12, another melee attack, another hit, and another unsteady situation, huh? Oh yeah. You can go melee with tanks, it's kind of funny. And another 25. We have to deal with that AC2 turret. It's only 25, it's the equivalent of a medium laser. I wouldn't take care of a medium laser. Uh oh. Okay, he missed. Good. Yeah, 40 damage from the large laser is a different story. Okay. Let's end this. Oh my god. So, first things first. We take the Cloudbuster out like that. Right, and we also maintain our evasion. That's good for us, you know. I like that. Um, hmm. And we push forward again, and I guess we're gonna try to hit... The turret with the auto cannon too. We hit him. Very good. So our bushwhacker can maybe kill. There's another one. Okay. Now it's getting ridiculous. Do I stomp him? I feel we gotta take care of this. Yeah, I'll take the turret down. We also go vigilant. Maybe we can have higher initiative than the little tank next round. Turret destroyed. Okay. So far, so good. So what we have is a laser turret here. And then there's machine guns on this turret. Um, What's your deal? I need to stomp you. So we go melee. Generate only two evasion. But it's the best chance to take the tank now, before it can act again. And in fact, we got like four evasion out of that. Cool. I'll take it. Yep. Bit of machine gun damage. Nothing too crazy. And we eat the large laser. Oh, It's our Phoenix arc. It doesn't look so good anymore. Okay. 15, 18. How much armor do you have? Hmm. Yeah. I'll do it like this. 
Gotta do something about it. Uh, we can go Vigilant as well, so let's do it. What's our hit chance? 43. I'll take care of the turret right in front of me. We don't have to destroy them, but I feel like it's a good idea. So I do go for a... Oh, I cannot go for a raw, raw melee attack. Oh, no. Um, well... Um, I guess we move a little bit and shoot him. We got him. Don't overheat. Don't blow up. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, here we are. We're gonna take down the turret with everything we have. Or almost. And then we're gonna take Wizard to do the same. Uh, fine. Single PPC should be enough to take. Good. Don't wanna shoot my Donald because it'll scramble my Uziel. And another 40 damage, holy hell! By the way, if you're wondering why I didn't attack the tur turret in the back, we didn't have enough raw damage output for taking it down this round. This is gonna happen now. Maybe. We'll see. Let's go, wizard. So I really want to make sure that these guys don't bother us anymore. I want to take them off before we go for the buildings. This time, no flamer. Great. So we just need one more hit. And then we should have gotten him. Gotta make sure we got the angle. Fire! Alright! So, technically we have all the turrets destroyed. Oh, all the turrets off. Not all of them destroyed. The light LRM turret also needs to go. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go for the building first. Start working on it. Yeah, 20 more damage. Sure. Uh, yeah. Maybe we can get a stray shot out. Stray shot against the building in front of us? No? Okay, fine. And it's gonna be Jamie. He has some heat problems anyway, so he's gonna shoot like two of the weapons. Okay, we got one. I really wonder what we're gonna get in terms of salvage here. Uh, it seems like there was not the best stuff on the battlefield, honestly. But that's a thing that we are about to see. Okay. Uh-huh. Actually, let's attack this. Because we instantly evac when all of the enemies are down and this is technically an enemy. So we have to go for it still. Uh-huh. Down goes the building. One more to go. And Jamie is going to take care of the turret that we have. I don't know why I'm moving around. It's just habit, I think. No? Yes. Good. All right. So, one more building. Take the medium one here. The other one technically has already taken damage, but let's take this one. It is also worth noting... That we are running out of ammo. This is the first time that we are really getting into ammunition problems with our Bushwacker and his autocannon 10. So at some point, there is a debate to be had to take more ammunition with us. But not today. We did it! Hey, look Mission at that. Successful. Mission successful. So we're gonna get a bit more valuables here. But I think it's gonna be just regular weapon systems. Maybe some tank parts if they are offered to us. I wouldn't say no to a Cloudbuster, honestly. It's not a bad one. And I think we have some parts already. So getting a tank on the field means that we have more firepower in general. And a tank is a thing that we don't have to worry about repairing as well. By the way, very strong start on my Twitch campaign right now. We have all tanks. And I don't even go for Mechbane number two early on. It's just ridiculous. Because everything will self-repair. Also, turrets now have an icon. That's nice. Good. We have... We have four parts of it already. The Tronel laser is not the best, but I think it's a decent tank early on. 
Yeah, let's take it. Okay. Hornet, Ripper, none of these matter. No. A sling, also big, big no. So why is the large laser Tronal bad? Because it generates 15% extra heat with no upside. It's just bad. And isn't the large laser 50 damage instead of 4? No, wait, it's... I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's just a bad weapon. But on a tank, it doesn't matter. So we are fine here. Because tanks don't generate heat. Uh, we can take some SRM4s, but I don't want to. There's Pharaoh Fibrous. I'll take a stack of it. Hmm. Excuse me. Alright, I'm back. Double bin of ammo. We have that already. Com Suite is good. Yeah, I'll take that. Missile range sensor is pretty good. Yeah. It's better than nothing. Also, here we can here we can see. It's a 5 ton 40 damage item. So, yeah. The Tronal laser just generates more heat. There's also Artemis. Artemis 2. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I'll take that. And what do we take on top? Maybe a regular large laser. No, it's another Pharaoh. Alrighty. So that's what we get. I'm sorry again. Ah, I'm not dying. I promise. We get two parts of a Cloudbuster. One heavy tracked APC part. A bunch of Hornet parts. Ripper. CX. Sling, sling, sling. Large laser Tronel, LRM-10, seven machine guns. Why not? So we got some engines that we totally sell for money. Double Pharaoh, lots of single heat sinks. Jump jets can go. Yeah, we're fine here. Totally fine. I think we got something for our OZL, especially the extra missile accuracy here. The comm suite, the missile sensor range. or oh, the sensor missile range this way around. I think that was good. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.